All right, we're back with more Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. In the last part, we cleared all the other levels in the Megaverse, and now we're heading into the Wily stages. We're going to start with Mega Man, because of course, with Wily Citadel 1. Gave me the boomerang cutter right off the bat. This first part has the uh, music from the Dr. Wily stage 1 from the original Mega Man. And the area even kind of resembles that area where there were the big eyes hopping all around on these platforms. Just shoot you up real good. There we go. There we go. Boomerang Cutter made quick work of him. Use Boomerang Cutter on the hot dog. Now there's a gap here that you can drop down. There we go. It's right here. I managed to jump across to get the power-ups. Now we're fighting Top Man. Oop. Gotta watch out for his tops, and then he'll do his top spin to attack, and then you jump over him. And the fight's pretty much just like it was in Mega Man 3. In fact, he was the best uh, robot master to start with in Mega Man 3, because he's so easy to beat. <laughs> Although his top spin wasn't very good. It was Shadow Man's weakness, but good luck using it against him when you have to act actively touch him to make it work. Oops. <laughs> Meant to take out the uh, robot up there first, but we'll shoot him. energy over there. I want that. Especially since I took a hit trying to get over here. I'm going to switch to Metal Blade to hit the uh, turret down there. Alright, after I show off my terrible aim. There we go. I think that the layout of this stage was originally the, the stage where you'd fight the copy robot, where it would copy Mega Man, but it would uh, choose whatever weapon you chose. Oh, there's a Guts Man copy down here. Take him out with the Mega Buster. There we go. some rupees and climb down. This is where he'd fight the copy robot, but instead we're fighting Yamato Man. And he fights just like he did in Mega Man 6. And when he throws his spear, he can, he'll be open to attack. Just don't want him to jump on me. Charge Mega Buster Blasts are doing good damage to him. There we go. Next area. This is a green Joe down here. Jump over his shots. There we go. Grab the checkpoint. There's a cherry up there, but I can't exactly reach it as Mega Man. Not without a... <laughs> Not without the, uh, super adapter or item 2 or something. There's one of the Gorilla Kings, we'll just take him out. Almost tried to stomp on that enemy. I'm playing as Mega Man, I can't stomp enemies. Take out the Guts Man copy. Now they're gonna try to throw these guys at me on these, uh, cloud platforms. That's not good. The hot dog and the helicopter guys. There we go. Now we fight Hornet Man from Mega Man 9. And here I am without the uh, fire based weapon to take him out. We'll just have to use the Mega Buster and the Metal Blade. Pretty sure Mega Man's charge shots will yeah, take out the 
the Hornets he throws in one shot as opposed to... There we go. Hornet Man is down. Alright, now I can get a star. Oh, but it's way over there. There's no point to get it. That's a waste of cherries. Oh well. Got the black hole bomb. Some more weapons here. The dust crusher and the needle cannon. Power up and get ready to fight the boss. Oh boy. It's the yellow devil. And the music is a remix of the Dr. Wily boss stages of the Dr. Wily bosses from Mega Man 1. Pretty sure this theme is also in Mega Man Powered Up. Luckily, the upgrades to Mega Man's Mega Buster means two charge shots kill the Yellow Devil. <laughs> Alright, next up is Wily Citadel 2. This will be the world boss stage. Only I'm going to play it as Roll. Mainly because Dr. Wily has a special dialogue at the end of the stage. But he doesn't have one for Mega Man. He mistakes him for Proto Man and uses that uh, dialogue option. The music is uh, Dr. Wily's stage for Mega Man 5, if I recall right. Stick with the Base Buster for now. Slide under that. It doesn't take out that uh, saw blade thing, which is like the uh, spinning crush blade things from the other levels. Oh yeah? There we go, we'll just shoot ya. Face Buster will make quick work of it. There's some power-ups and stuff up there, but don't really need them. Also another one of those Ben K's. Grab all that, drop down here, get the checkpoint, there's the search snake, I'll pick it up. Now we get to fight this thing. Interestingly, this would be the first time we fight this thing, even though it would be in another level <laughs> in a later stage we'll be going to. Since even though this is the world boss stage, this isn't the final level in the Megaverse. Here's Magnet Missile. Take on the Power Muscler. I think these explosions can harm some enemies. Yeah, you can see it took out the Ben K's uh, propeller blade when it threw it. Right now, it's basically your typical Dr. Wily fortress. It did just pick up a Tango Adapter. Set off the bomb there. And we'll use the Tango Adapter to fly across. Penguin guy again. <laughs> That's working. We're gonna Super Mario 2 him. We'll grab some screws, which are worth a bit of money. Then we drop down here. We get another checkpoint. You can see there's a full heal here, as well as another one up. They give me more weapons and items to choose from, but I'm going to stick with what I got. The Tango Adapter and the Base Buster. Now we're down in here. These will contain more Robot Master weapons if I need them, but I'm going to keep them there in case I need power-ups to charge up my health. And anyway, this level, this area, is basically the Robot Master refights. Only we're not going to be refighting the Robot Masters we've already defeated. We're going to be fighting new ones. 
First up is Commando Man, is playing the Mega Man 10 boss fight theme, which is appropriate because Commando Man is from Mega Man 10. I believe this was also the theme it played when we fought Slash Man. Jump over, uh, there we go. Where he shockwaves and he fires his missiles. There we go, I managed to beat him with the Base Buster without losing it. You can see there, it gave me two more Mega Man suits. I think there's uh, more of them in there, so if I need to power up, I can grab those. This guy's probably uh, unfamiliar. This is Buster Rod G. This is from Mega Man The Wily Wars. He's kind of based on Sun Wukong. Yeah, you can block my uh, shots by using his staff here. While he's up in the air, I can just shoot him at the base buster. Now he's using the after image technique. Oop. Lost the base buster. Give him a couple of charge shots. There we go, we beat him. Tango adapter. Alright, now we're ready to go. Stick to that, we take on the next boss. Oop, that's Anchor from Mega Man... I think of a Mega Man 1 on Game Boy. Like Punk, he's one of the uh, Mega Man killers alongside uh, Punk and Balad. When you shoot him, he'll charge up his sword, but also do damage to him. There we go, we beat him. Yep. Our next opponent is Magic Man from Mega Man in Base. And the boss theme has changed to the theme from Mega Man in Base when you fight a Robot Master. I don't think he's supposed to get stuck up there. <laughs> I think Magic Man glitched out on me. This usually doesn't happen. He's supposed to run back and forth and use his uh, magic cards and throw those balls down that shoot birds. Sometimes he fires an energy blast. But here I'm just going to finish him off because he got stuck in the wall of all things. <laughs> Next opponent is Sonic Man. This is from Mega Man on Ga on the PC DOS. From the Mega Man on DOS. He shouldn't be too tough. He kind of reminds me of the fight with Bubble Man. Except I think he's actually might be easier to fight than Bubble Man. You just swim over him and keep shooting him. At some point, he'll start swimming back and forth and firing a shock wave, like sound waves at the floor that will bounce up. Here he goes. And again, these are pretty easy to dodge. They only move vertically, so it's easy to avoid them. Finish them off with a magnet missile. Next up is Mercury. And it's playing the Mega Man 5 uh, Robot Master theme, which makes sense as Mercury is from Mega Man 5 on Game Boy. And we'll turn into these uh, acid balls and bounce across the stage. Here he forms, I'll hit him with a charged blast. Now those shots that Mercury fires can actually take items from you, like cherries and uh, like rupees and such. Tango shot. <laughs> Avoid this again. I can use the Tango adapter to fly over it if needed. There we go, Tango finished him off. Next is... I forget this guy's name. He's from Mega Man in Base. Like a Torgo man or something. The text will tell me who it is. I tried to rememberize his name for this part and I just don't remember it. Still got the magnet missile. Watch out for his little fire moves. Kind of reminds me of Fireman from Mega Man 1. 
mean, he fights differently from Fireman. Watch out for his uh, little flame move there. Finish him off. And one more opponent left. The Mega Man 8 boss theme starts. And it's Sword Man. Sword Man was from Mega Man 8. There's his Fire Slash move. Just avoid that. He does this weird thing where a bunch of pillars of fire go around him. And Mega Man 8, you could slide under him when he'd use his Fire Slash. And there's the Body Strike. And he does a swing with his Flame Sword. Jump over the Body Strike again. Eh, he's not too tough in here. If I had Aquaman's Water Balloon, I could kill him even faster, but that's not one of the available weapons. <laughs> Keep uh, shooting him with charge Mega Buster blasts. Maybe hit him with a magnet missile. That did some damage to him. All right, we've cleared out this area. All that's left to do now is face Dr. Wily. He's giving me the Crash Bomber as my weapon for him. And we're in the final area. The music that'll play during the cutscene is from Mega Man Powered Up, which is Wily's evil plan. Mwahahaha! Well, 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 if it isn't Dr. Light's lowly housekeeper, Roll. Trying to follow in your brother's footsteps, are we? Well, you've certainly been as big of a nuisance as he was. Do you seriously believe a glorified maid can stop this so-called coalition? Can stop my brilliant plans? I already defeated that fool Mega Man, so defeating the likes of you should be no trouble at all. Do you even have any idea who you're dealing with? I am the genius roboticist, Dr. Albert Wiley. You fools cannot possibly comprehend the magnitude of what I'm trying to accomplish here. You may have gotten past my robot masters, but those were scrap metal compared to the magnificence of my glorious Wily machine. It's time that I crush this pathetic coalition of yours personally. Your interference ends here. And he has different lines for depending on which character you play as. Then the music starts up and it's Mega Man 6's boss theme, it's Wily. And we're actually fighting Wily Machine 6 from Mega Man 6. I think this uh, music is pretty appropriate since it, in back in Mega Man 6, this was the final battle against Dr. Wily in the NES era. It has that uh, feeling of finality. I gotta shoot those green parts. I guess Tango can't hit them. Right now, he just bounces back and forth and then fires three shots, either in an upwards or downwards spread pattern. If I stay on the ground and away from him, it shouldn't hit me. I say that and then I get hit. <laughs> I'm gonna go over the Wily machine. There we go. I can also slide, so that'll get me under it quickly when it jumps. There we go. Next is the second phase where you can see Dr. Wily, only this time he attempts to land directly on me and his shots are aimed forwards as in right at where I am. So we'll avoid his shots. Miss with the crash bomber. Fly over it. I missed with the crash bomber, but that's okay. Yeah, you can see uh, as it progresses, he'll fire one or two or three shots. Avoid him again. There we go. And you'll notice uh, in this one, Dr. Wily escapes. He doesn't uh, grovel like he usually does when you beat him. <laughs> we get the uh, metal theme. We get this heavy metal version of the stage clear theme from the original Mega Man for the World 3 Complete. Yep, and that's it for the Wily Worlds. Next time we'll have to go back to... We have to go back to the Mushroom Kingdom and find the Warp Zone to World 4. And there it is, there's the World 4 entrance at the Banshee Boardwalk. So in the next part we're gonna head back into the Banshee Boardwalk and see what World 4 awaits us. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.